Hello everybody, welcome to another Poverty Hill Adventures Oddment Shorts video. Uh, I believe this one is Oddment Shorts number 67. Now who would have known way back when, uh, when I started making this video series on the channel uh, of these Oddments, uh, Oddment Short videos, uh, that I ever would have made it past uh, Admin Shorts number one. <laughs> so, but here we are all the way up to number 67. Some of you may have noticed I got a brand new pair of bibs on. And uh, now before you go thinking that I won the lottery or something like that, and I got money to burn, uh, or maybe YouTube started uh, paying me checks for making all these videos. Uh, rest assured, I did not win the lottery, and YouTube certainly hasn't paid me to, to make any videos. And that's okay. I don't. I don't do this uh, to get paid uh, by any means. I do it because I have fun doing it. Um, and uh, I saved up all my money, and I got myself a brand new pair of Liberty jeans. Our friend Kevin picked up this saw uh, recently at a yard sale and he knows that I kind of collect these saws and axes and stuff like that. And uh, he picked it up and brought it over and I reimbursed him for it. And uh, what it is, it's a 42 inch perforated tooth uh, cross cut saw. And it's a uh, Got the handle on there for, for one man, but if you uh, had a second guy, you could use the other handle and turn it into a two-man powered saw. Or this handle unscrews, and there's a pin, and it goes back on here. like so, tightens back up, and then it gives a one-man operation, gives a little extra point to hold on to the saw. And uh, whoever had this saw before took pretty good care of it. It wasn't pitted too bad. They actually had a coating of uh, some sort of grease on there to protect it. And whoever it was uh, cared enough about it to to write their name on there and uh, you can barely make it out but it's something like uh, Careberry. Uh, so uh, it didn't have any other markings on it. It didn't have any uh, uh, name stamped in the blade that I could find or a medallion in the handle. And uh, like I said it's a perforated uh, lance uh, tooth blade uh, as opposed to a a champion uh, uh, tooth uh, blade which is two cutters to each raker. This has four cutters to each raker. Um, this was marketed back way back when more as a, uh, a saw for softwoods and the champion uh, was marketed more as a saw for hardwoods. But either one uh, will work for any kind of woods. Uh, uh, so I, I've got a small uh, maple branch here, hard maple uh, that came down uh, the other day and I spent a little time with a file touching this up. So I'm just going to kind of give it a test, uh, test spin right now. Well, it sawed okay. It didn't saw real smooth. It bound up a couple of times, but it did saw. Uh, uh, so I got to do a little more work on sharpening it. Maybe uh, tweak uh, the set on the teeth a little bit. 
but uh, it definitely will get the job done. The top one, like I said, that's the one that I just acquired, is a uh, perforated lance. Uh, designed mostly for softwoods, but it, like I said, it'll cut any kind of woods, and it has one, two, three, four cutters to each raker. The one below it here is a uh, champion tooth, and it has two cutters to each raker. One, two, there's a raker. There's a broken tooth there, and there's a couple of uh, good teeth there. So you have the comparison between a champion and a perforated lance uh, tooth cross-cut saw. Both of these here are 42 inch saws. So there you have it, a uh, 42 inch uh, perforated tooth uh, cross-cut saw. Try to, uh, from time to time, put in some trail camera clips in these oddment uh, videos. And uh, here's some recent ones from my trail cameras. There were times uh, <laughs> that I never thought I'd be painting that one on there. This is my totem, and uh, each of these uh, marks on here represents a year of my life. And uh, that one there that I just painted was year number 65, uh, quite a milestone. And <laughs> like I said, it, there were times during my life I never thought I'd I'd make it that far. So. Uh, Number 65! Like most of us from the Leave it to Beaver generation, uh, we took a peanut butter and jelly sandwich to uh, school every day, or almost every day, and uh, that's what we had for lunch. Well, I'm going retro today. I got a nice peanut butter and uh, strawberry jam uh, sandwich here. And let me tell you, these are as good now as they were when we were little kids. The jitterbug tree shown in the background here has claimed another one of my lures. This time it was not a jitterbug. It was a Mr. Twister, so it was a little less expensive uh, and a little less painful, but it, it got another one from me. Poverty Hill, Pete and myself would like to welcome Jim H, Tyler B, Dave S, Kathy D, 
and Fish Chick Forever uh, to the channel. Welcome to the new subscribers.